Hi everybody. Good morning. How y'all doing today? Do me a favor again and if you're here, please comment and say hello because I can't see who's here, but I guess I can see the comments, so that's good. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying story time. I've been trying to figure out why the quality on the rewatch is pretty poor and seeing if I can make that a little bit better. So when you rewatch, you can see the pictures better. And um, I know looking at the pictures is a big part of enjoying story time. All right, so I guess we may as well just get started. Our first book today is kind of about flying. Have you guys ever had a dream that you were flying or that you were a bird and you were flying? I can say I've never dreamed of it, but I know that some people do have dreams that they're flying. That's kind of what this book is about. It's called Up, Up, Up. And it's by Susan Reed and Rachel Oldfield. It has some really good pictures in this book today. So I'm gonna spend some time holding the pictures up to the camera. Hopefully you can see them. Up, 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 up in a balloon. Up so high I can touch the moon. Up, 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 sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high, I can fly. I know how. We read a book the other day when a balloon went up to the moon too. Do you remember that? Look at that. Looks like a happy moon too. Trains are fun, race cars are fast. Riding bikes down by the river is a blast. See the train? There's a lot to look at in these pictures. I really like them. What else do you see? I see some cows. I see a dog. Did you see the dog? And I see some ducks swimming in the river. What else do you see down there? What else is going on? Lots of cool stuff. But if I had my way, just one chance for a day, I'd go ballooning to the stars so I could fly. Wow. They're way up high. Look at the mountains. See the mountains? Up, 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 up in a balloon. Up so high I can touch the moon. Up, 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 sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high. I can fly. I know how. Looks like they're over the ocean. What do you see in the ocean? I see a whale. You see a whale? There's a whale. And what's this? There's clouds too in the sky. You see the clouds? Some creatures swim, others climb. My kind talk all the time. What kind are their creatures? What are these? Oh, they're people. We like to talk, right? <laughs> we definitely like to talk. But if I had my way, just one chance for a day, I'd trade places with a bird so I could fly. Would you change places with a bird? They get to fly all the time, whenever they want. Up, up, up in a balloon. Up so high I can touch the moon. Up, 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 sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high, I can fly. I know how. Wow, where are they now? What do you see in the picture? What are these? Does anybody know what these are?
I feel the rush of the wind as we climb higher. I taste the cold. I touch the air. I am the sky. I see all people, all trees, cats and dogs, bears and monkeys. You see the bear? Do you see it? I don't see the bear. How about monkeys? Do you see the monkeys? Where are the monkeys? Oh, now I see the bears. I don't see the monkeys though. Where's the monkeys? Maybe they're flying over a zoo. Cars and buildings, all those cities. Wow. This is one of those books that you could just look at the pictures for a long time and see all kinds of cool stuff. Jungles, mountains, and countries, they're blending into just one color, and it's green. I'm headed up, up, up in a balloon, up so high I can touch the moon. Up, 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 sailing with the clouds. Look at me, I'm so high, I can fly, I know how. Are they up by the moon? Look at up in the moon. I don't know if I'd want to fly that high though. The end. What'd you think? Did you like it? I liked it. These are kind of quick books today. So our story time is probably going to be a little faster than it's been. So our next book, Curious George Goes to the Aquarium. I know we've been reading lots of Curious George books today and I have a special guest. You ready for this? Look who's joining us today. Oh, who's that? It's George. George is here. He likes that we're reading his books, but I don't know where I can put him so that he can <laughs> so that he can listen. I should have practiced this first. That would have been smart. George, can you see? George can see the book. Curious George Mar by Margaret and H. A raise. What do you think, George? Do you remember when you went to the aquarium? All right, let me move forward a little bit because this book is smaller than the other one was. All right, George, can you get back up there? There we go. Okay, <laughs> are we ready? Let's go to the aquarium today, George, said the man. The manager of the aquarium met them at the door. I'm going to feed the seals now, he said. Would you like to come and watch? He took a pail full of fish, went to the seal tank, and held up one. Billy, the big seal, jumped straight into the air and caught it. Have you guys gone to the aquarium? I know the one in Boston has some great seal shows. George was Fascinated. Were you fascinated? Next, Billy did a twist in the air. Seals like to jump. George liked the seals, but only a few people were watching. The next show will be at 2 p.m., announced the manager. George went behind the fish tanks. There was a net on a long pole leaning against the tank. George was curious. Could he feed the seals too? What do you think, George? Could he feed the seals? He took the net, went to the tank, and dipped it into the water. George caught lots of fish. That's a lot. Just then, a guard came by and saw the net in the tank. What's going on, he shouted. He blew his whistle. That makes a big noise, doesn't it, when you blow a whistle? Very loud. 
Guards came running from all sides. There he is, cried one. Somebody catch that monkey. Stop him, shouted another. They all ran after George. Think they'll catch him? George, did they catch him? George was scared. He ran away and headed for the seal tank. Meanwhile, the next show had started. George jumped right into the tank and landed on the back of a seal. Look, a monkey, someone shouted. That's not something you see every day. One seal flipped George high into the air. Another caught him. Does he look like he's having fun? I think it looks like he's having a good time. Right? George over here is pretty snuggly. All the seals poked their heads out of the water. They all wanted to play with George. They tossed George into the air and took turns catching him. Look at that. George was having lots of fun. The audience went wild. It was the best show they had ever seen. They look excited. What do you think? They look excited. Finally, George landed on the platform. Suddenly, a guard reached out and grabbed him by the air. Ouch. The manager rushed over. Wait, he said, let George go. He was the star of the show. Can we hire George, the manager asked. We'll see, said the man in the yellow hat, but I think I better take him home now. They all cheered George once more. Yay, yay for George. Yay, George. The end. What'd you think? Did you like that one? <clears throat> I love the George books. There. There you go, George. Tomorrow, our books are going to be another Curious George Goes to School. Even though we haven't been able to go to school, have we? But tomorrow, we're going to read about George when he gets to go to school. And... I have another silly book. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Have you guys read this one? I think it's been a while since we have, but it's a fun book. So I hope you guys have a good day today. It's kind of rainy again outside. Not so fabulous out. I hope you guys have been keeping yourself busy and enjoying time with your parents and everybody staying healthy and happy. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.